Welcome back to Mass Appeal. If you like things that are sweet and delicious, you're going to love this recipe. Yes, you sure are. We're back with a budget-friendly mom, Erin Rose, and we're making chocolate peanut butter pretzel bars. That's correct. <laughs> and they are no bake. No, no ba bake. No so bake. That's nice. Uh, how do we get started? Well, again, I did a lot of the prep work for you. Thank you. Um, what I did was you're going to want a cup and a half of um, crushed pretzels. pretzels. Okay. Thank you. Um, I just did them in my... Um, little processor. food processor. I have a mm -hmm. small one, so it's really quick and easy. Just pulse them right up, boom, dump them in the bowl. And you want a half cup of confectioner's sugar and about three quarters of a cup of peanut butter. Okay. So Thank that's you. all in this bowl here. So then you're going to take six tablespoons of melted butter and you're going to pour that in there okay. and then you're going to mix it all together. Here we are. Okay, melted butter. Mm. And this has then been quite the whisking show. Yeah, okay. I know. Well, I gave you a wooden spoon this time. So. Makes it a little oh, bit okay. easier. And the peanut butter that you put in here is not melted or anything? It's it is just not. It's going to kind of hold everything together. It, okay. it, it softens up a little bit with the butter, and it kind of will make a mold. Nice. Okay, so I'm just mixing that up. And then what is the next step after you mix it? After you're done mixing that, you're going to take it and press it firmly into your foil-lined pan. Seth? Yeah, I'll, I'll put it in there. Let's you do, do that thing. step. Okay. And we're pressing it in. Yes. Okay. So obviously the smaller pan, the... Well, I have a kind of a larger pan, but I would definitely recommend using like a smaller pan, maybe one you might use for like brownies. This is more of a casserole dish, but we use what we had. How, yeah. how thick do we want it? What's the ideal thickness of it? Um, you could probably fill about half of that pan. Okay. So you're a little bit over the thickness because you're going to put a layer of chocolate on the top. Oh, all right then. I will definitely thin it out so that we can put more <laughs> chocolate in it. <laughs> There we go. We're getting somewhere now. All right. So all that is is just sugar, butter, peanut butter, and pretzels. Yes. And, and you mix it all together. It's delicious. <laughs> I would imagine. Oh, yeah. You have to do the rest, though. I've just contaminated my fingers. No problem. Yeah, you're contaminated. Okay. <clears throat> now, we've got this here. It's like this. So obviously, this is no bake, so it doesn't matter if it takes up the whole thing or half of it because you're not baking it. You're not baking it. So what I did was I already melted this, but while you're melting the um, peanut butter and the chocolate topping, you're going to want about three quarters three quarters of a cup of chocolate chips and about two tablespoons of peanut butter. You're going to nuke them in the microwave until they're nice and melted, mix them together real well, and then you're going to layer it over the top of this. But while I melt these in the microwave, I chill this. It doesn't have to be chilled for any certain amount of time, but it hardens it a little bit enough that you can spread the topping over easier. Got it. Okay. But is it okay to spread that on now? Yes, it is. Even though this isn't okay. Good. You just might pick up a little bit of the bottom while you're doing it. Oh, I got gotcha. you. But if, uh, if you're doing it ideally at home and following the method, you want to cool it. But here's okay. the thing. At the end of the day, you're putting peanut butter and chocolate and pretzels together. So as long as it's As there, long as it's all together. That's the important <laughs> part. As long as you make it and then eat it. All right. So you smooth this over. Here we go. And this is a mixture of chocolate and peanut butter that I'm just spreading over this, which smells amazing. And then do we want to let the whole thing chill in the fridge for you a You do, while? for about an hour. For right. about an hour, and then you cut it up into squares or and you parts enjoy. or cars or whatever <laughs> shape you want. Whatever your kids want at that given moment. Yes. And you eat it up. And this will take you all of about 15 minutes to throw together. And there you go. Aaron, a throw pleasure. Throw it in the fridge. For more information and this recipe, mymassappeal.com.